Hi everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to the second episode of my Skincare Empty series. Today's video is going to highlight my all-time favorite mineral sunscreens that I have reviewed on this channel. If this is your first episode that you're watching, make sure you check out the retinol video as well. I recap some of my favorite retinol and retinol products that I have reviewed on this channel and I'm doing this series to compile a list of all of my favorite skincare products and ingredients that I've reviewed on this channel. So mineral sunscreens I separated from chemical sunscreens because I know that people pick either mineral or chemical for their own reason and mineral sunscreens are usually more designed for sensitive skin. I definitely gravitate towards chemical sunscreens though just because of the feel and how lightweight they are but if you do prefer mineral sunscreens then this video is for you. I have been very picky with this video and I'm very proud of myself because I'm so indecisive but I have narrowed it down to a pretty small list. I do have full reviews on all of these videos. You can either click the links in the description or you can click the card in the upper right hand corner of the video to check out all of the reviews. I still stand by all of my reviews. These are just my all time favorites that I have tried, especially right now. This list is bound to change, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first sunscreen is the Kosas Dream Beam SPF 40. And I really liked this product because it really was one of the most lightweight tinted sunscreens that I've ever used. It doesn't feel like a mineral sunscreen whatsoever. I've noticed that with a lot of tinted mineral sunscreens, they are not designed for paler skin. Sometimes they have a warm undertone. I'm very neutral undertone. So, so whenever a tinted sunscreen has a warm undertone, it makes me look so orange. This product did start off where I could definitely tell it had a tint, but once it wore throughout the day, this product was so amazing. I love the feel of it. It was a very neutral sunscreen which is exactly what I look for in a mineral sunscreen because they can be so heavy and so greasy on the skin that's what I really struggle with with a lot of tinted sunscreens. so I really enjoyed this product it didn't cause any breakouts didn't cause any acne and anytime I'm wanting a very natural finish to the skin that just makes my skin look very evened out I will go for this product and I really gravitated towards this product it is a little bit more expensive but I do have a cheaper alternative that works fairly good and I feel like it's actually my favorite overall mineral sunscreen which is the Kinfield Sun Glow Luminous Sunscreen. I really loved this product and I still love this product to this minute. If you've watched my channel for a while you know I am a huge fan of the Kinship Mineral Sunscreen. Now I still love that product. That product did not make the list though because I have found other mineral sunscreens that I like so much better and I actually feel like that this product has replaced the kinship sunscreen for me. This sunscreen gave such a beautiful glow to the skin. It had a rose gold tint to it so it wasn't anything too crazy and it created a tinted sunscreen that was very balanced and that was perfect for my neutral undertones. I feel like this product was the number one mineral sunscreen on this list because it has a great feel to it. It's a little bit more on the hydrating side which I prefer but not greasy and there is a huge division line between hydrating and greasy and this is definitely more on the dewy hydrating side. This product I feel like would be good for all skin types and I just really loved this mineral sunscreen. It is a great tinted option and I'm so beyond thankful that I got to try this product because this sunscreen is so amazing. The next one I picked because it is one of the most affordable options and it has the best texture for the price point. This is the Curology Everyday Sunscreen. I feel like this product is very simple. If you're looking for a staple sunscreen that is all white and not tinted, I know some people are sensitive to tints, so I tried to add both tinted and non-tinted mineral sunscreens. This product was a great non-tinted mineral sunscreen that I felt like had a pretty minimal white cast. This product was very sheer, but it was also a little bit more on the hydrating side. It was definitely not greasy though, and I felt like it was the most simple and just cut and dry sunscreen that you can get, especially for the great price point. And it's also at Target. 
so it's very easily accessible. I really love this product. Now I know someone said that this product I think had either shea butter or some ingredient that was known to clog your pores. I personally didn't experience that with this product, but I do have an alternative that I will talk about later in the video if you are sensitive to this ingredient and this product did clog your pores. Now let's move on to the honorable mentions. I don't know, this wasn't supposed to become a segment of this series, but I'm just kind of rolling with it because I still want to mention these products that I absolutely love. The alternative to the Curology sunscreen is the native SPF 30. This product is amazing. It's so simple and it's very affordable. Now it's in Target and it's easily accessible. Pro tip, make sure you get the body sunscreen because it has the same ingredients as the face sunscreen and you get so much more for it. My friends have used the body sunscreen on their face and not experienced any acne. I personally haven't tried that but I know a lot of people who have and same ingredients so just make sure you get the value size of it. This product product is amazing. It's simple. It had a minimal white cast and it was also an all white sunscreen. And it's honestly one of the most affordable sunscreens that I've ever seen. I tried it before a lot of people had because I remember not seeing any reviews on it. And I'm glad that this sunscreen has gotten the attention and the recognition that it deserves. I feel like that since it's come to Target, it's become easily accessible and a lot more people have seen it. So I'm glad that they did choose to go to Target with this product. The final sunscreen screen I also want to talk about because of the price. This is the Good Molecules Sheer Mineral SPF 30. This product was also amazing at being a very sheer mineral sunscreen and it was very affordable but personally when it comes to finish I did prefer the Curology over this and the Native but these are very affordable alternatives to the Curology sunscreen if you can't use that product for whatever reason or if you prefer a different finish. The Native was kind of a neutral sunscreen and the Good Molecules, from what I remember, was a fairly matte sunscreen. It really didn't leave that much of a finish on the skin. Both were very neutral. I liked that the Curology was a little bit more hydrating, but the Good Molecules really had a great feel to it, and it was one of the most affordable sunscreens that I've ever seen, so that is why I also wanted to mention that in this video. But yeah, this is just a summary of my favorite mineral sunscreens. Make sure you stay tuned because I will be continuing this series and let me know what products you want me to highlight next. I will be trying to run through as many products as possible and ingredients in this series. So please let me know what you want to see next. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.